Hey everyone, my name is Megan, this is my daughter Aiden, and this is <laughs> Salt, a cooking show for kids. <laughs> we decided to do this for fun uh, because I realized <laughs> I get annoyed with my kids because they don't know how to do anything, and then I realized that they don't know how to do anything because I haven't taught them how to do it. <laughs> so we thought probably a lot of other people struggle with this and uh, hopefully this will be something you can follow along with for fun. Your kids get some skills. My kids get some skills and being on camera forces us to not get in a fight while we do it. So we'll see how it goes. Our first one is an Easter um, treat. We're keeping it pretty simple. No actual real baking or cooking involved. So you just use shredded wheat, chocolate chips, and mini eggs. We are going to do a variation with marshmallows. So it'd be like a Rice Krispie treat. Admittedly, we have never made these or tested the recipe. So we'll see how it goes. You can follow along with us. Hopefully it goes well. At least uh, if it doesn't, we'll be keeping it real. And so I'm basically just going to direct Aiden. She's going to do everything on her own, figure it out, and we'll see how it goes. So the first thing you're gonna need, Aiden, is one cup of chocolate chips. Take the measuring cup. <clears throat> you can melt chocolate in a bowl over boiling water or a double boiler if you have it. Um, however, I do find if you get any into steam the into the bowl, yeah. any steam or water in it, the chocolate gets really sticky and gross. So. If you have a microwave, um, it's actually easier just to do it in the microwave. Caveat is you have to do it 15 seconds at a time so that you don't burn the chocolate. Burn chocolate tastes and smells disgusting. Okay, so you're gonna take the bowl in, put it in the microwave, 15 seconds, well, maybe 30 seconds for the first one. And then after that, it's gonna have to be each time, so you're going to take it out and you're going to stir it around each time. Stir it just until it's stirred and then you put it back in for 15 seconds, take it back out, stir it until it's all melted. Easy peasy. Feeling confident? Okay, good. You can do it. Maybe don't, even though you do have clean hands, don't rub your hands all over the utensils that you're going to use to make the food. Also, we should practice good hygiene in the kitchen and put our hair up. Yes? Even though I personally believe finding hair in their food is a sign of love to your family, some people don't feel the same way. So, hair up helps keep it out of the food. Hopefully, in theory. <clears throat> okay, yeah, I recognize it's not melted yet. You have to stir it up. It is a bit of a slow process. And it stirs so up. So see how the bottom, but the bottom is melted. So you just want to show here, bottom is melted. Lots of chocolate chips are not going to be melted yet. That's okay. You have to do it just a little bit at a time because chocolate does burn really easily. Back in 15 seconds. Again? Why? Because it's not melted yet and you need the chocolate melted. <clears throat> it's too hot. What's too hot? The bowl. <laughs> the bowl's too hot? It burns do you my want, fingers. Do you want an oven mitt? No. Okay. Okay, grab it back out, stir it up again. You want an oven mitt, okay. Oven mitts are always good time on hand. Okay, so stir this up again. Remember to scoop it from the bottom so you get, usually the melted stuff is on the bottom, so you wanna make sure you get that all in. And the hot melted chocolate will actually help melt the other chocolate chips. The cat, the cat. yes, it is very exciting. The cat is meowing. It's very strange for him when he meows. 
Is it stirred again? Do you need to grab the oven mitts? There's some in that drawer. My hair's falling down. This is not a good elastic. You could use it multiple times. Mm -hmm. I did. Okay, so just stirring it up so it gets, each time it'll get a little more melted. It is admittedly a pain to do it 15 seconds at a time, but if you burn it, you're gonna have to start all over again, so. Short-term pain for long treat gain. Okay, so just kind of scooping underneath, flipping it around, stirring it up. I am going to pause the video while we do this because I think it's quite boring. You could just cut it out. So as you see, the more we stir it, the more it's sort of melting. We're actually getting pretty close there. So see how you keep stirring it. It's actually already almost all melted still. So stirring it into the melted chocolate helps melt the pieces that aren't. So probably one more oh, time. The spoon. Yeah, we're not licking the spoon. Why? Because we are using the spoon. Can I lick it at the end? Maybe. Only if, only she who does the stirring, potentially, maybe, gets the spoon at the end. Oh, the spoon. <clears throat> Okay, last time, stir that up, and then we're gonna add, pardon? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna bring in a close-up of your amazing work, Aiden. No. Oh, look at that melted chocolate, so delicious. Stop. <clears throat> Okay, <clears throat> so the next thing we're going to do is take about four of these biscuits of shredded wheat and you need to crumple them up. So, with my hands? <clears throat> yes, with your hands. You said healthy hygiene. Mm. Yeah, that's why you wash your hands first because, yeah, so you want it all broken up because once they're mixed in with, see how they're like little... Oops. No, that's fine. You want it to fall apart. No, I mean, like, there's a big piece there. Is Colin at Christmas? I guess so. So you want to mix it all in. Once they're all mixed in with the chocolate, it's going to look kind of like twigs. And that's what we're going to make our nests out of. So this will kind of naturally break up in little... <laughs> it can be okay. No. Ah, uh, how it changes from children that play in mud. Okay. So, Sri, will you open the other package? This is supposed to be the fun part, playing with it. Playing with the food. Playing with food, girls. Oh, boy. Okay, break up that one. <laughs> That's right, take out your aggressions with your cooking. It's very therapeutic. <laughs> Remember, a, a bird needs to make a nest with it after. <clears throat> nope, that's it, we just need four. Then you're gonna take it. Oops, jeez, we need a better cameraman here. And you're gonna fold it all in. So scoop from the bottom and fold it over and kind of press with your spatula. Okay, so that you get it all mixed up. It looks really gross. Delicious. Gross. Oh my, you're gonna have to work on your description skills if you'd like to be a looks, cooking, cooking show host someday. It looks crunchy and soft at the same time. Okay, like it looks really like mix it up. It looks like when you're eating a cookie and then you you find something crunchy in it. 
<laughs> like your hair. Oh, wow. Okay. You are supposed to be making this sound enticing. Do you know that, right? Mm, this looks so... Mm, it looks so crunchy and mushy, like that could be hair in there. <laughs> Delicious. I bet everyone wants to come over and have our treats. Okay, so you want to get it mixed like as uniformly and the faster that the chocolate cools off, the less it's going to mix. So there is a bit of a time. Chocolate in my finger. Okay, yeah. Are you sabotaging this so that I will do it for you? No. Mm -hmm. Picking up tricks from your father, I see. Okay, so just try to get it mixed in as uniformly as possible. And did you just have your fingers in your mouth? Yeah. Okay, you're gonna need to go wash your hands then because you're gonna be using your hands, well, maybe a spoon to make the nests. So this part's basically done. We're just gonna be forming Is our nest. Soap? Yes. We have a few chunks in ours. I mean, that's okay. It's probably more realistic towards a nest, but depending on how much of a perfectionist you are, you might want to mix it up more. Me, not so much because I know my family is just going to eat these all in one afternoon and no one's going to care what they look like. Okay, are you ready? No. No, okay. I'll keep mixing while you get ready then. Break up these chunks. Okay, now are you ready? Okay, do you want to use your fingers or a spoon? Um. Judging by your reaction to breaking these up, I would say a spoon because now they're covered in chocolate. Okay. Okay. I do admire your tidy as you go attitude in the kitchen, but we may want to make sure we're making the actual thing first. Okay. I like cream. That's perfect. That can be your job, the cleanup. I like to clean my room. Oh, that's it. Okay, so we're gonna take a muffin tin and we have silicone liners in because I'm lazy and I don't like cleaning them. But I guess I have to clean the silicone liners, but it still seems easier. Um, so take a scoop. You're gonna take it, you're gonna plop a scoop in, and then <laughs> it looks very appetizing, I know. And then you're gonna kind of press it up against the edges to make a little dent. I'm thirsty. You're thirsty. Okay. <laughs> These look very. If you have young children and you've been frustrated by your cooking experiences so far, I can tell you it doesn't get any easier. They're no less distracted. Okay, so you're going to push this to the side. <laughs> it doesn't look like a nest. <laughs> well, that's because there's no eggs in it yet. And because it's dark brown. Well, that's why... What do, nests are made of twigs. <laughs> twigs are brown, usually. Not that dark. Oh, well. I'm so sorry that the chocolate has made it not 100% correct to your liking. Okay. <clears throat> Crunchy. It is crunchy. It's going to be chocolatey and crunchy. Then you can take the um, mini eggs and you're going to put some in the nest. With my hands? Yes, with <laughs> your hands. No, I want to do it. Okay, so you can choose how many. Just a few actually looks really cute. But well, first, before you can put them in your <laughs> nest, you need to shape the nest. I need more. So there is a place to put said eggs. That's good enough. 
Okay, yeah, those <laughs> eggs are not going to make it to hatching because they're going to fall out of that nest big time. I want this one. Predators are definitely getting those eggs. Okay, let's do another one. Scoop it in, maybe get a little more this time. Okay. <laughs> you do you. <laughs> okay, now you got to press it up against the sides. Okay, so not pressing it down into the thing, but kind of, yeah, exactly. And then you put the eggs in. Just a few <laughs> eggs. Okay. Oh, this well, one's crushed. <laughs> once we run out of eggs, that's it, so. We'll eat them. Okay, and then we'll just keep going. <laughs> These are good. Yeah. Not when I just ate though. No. I better test them out and make sure they're up to standard. Okay. Okay, now see how you have a hole there yeah, though? Yeah, I don't, you gotta yeah. Fill that. So the nice things about these is they're very free form. They definitely don't have to be perfect. And they're pretty easy. <clears throat> Once you have them all put in, they go in the fridge for a couple of hours and that'll help set up the chocolate. And then you take them out. You can take them out of the uh, muffin things and eat as you please. I'm going to eat We're, all of these without you. Yeah, that's fine. Um, we're going to do another version with marshmallow. Yeah. So we'll finish these and then we'll come back on and no. give another version for you that no. does actually involve using the stove. So. No. Face aid. I can't smile. <laughs> okay, and we're back. Our chocolate ones are chilling, and we're gonna make some with marshmallows. Yeah, chilling, just like us, just chilling. Okay. We're gonna make some with marshmallows. So same process as making rice crispy squares. Uh, the amounts will be different. We have not tested this yet. So we're kind of just going with it. Luckily, it's pretty flexible. As long as you get your marshmallow to cereal ratio, so what you like. Okay, yeah, let's not touch our feet when we are cooking things in the kitchen. It's the top of my slippers. They won't, or they aren't dirty. Okay. Thank goodness you all saw her slippers. All right, so we're going to get maybe a tablespoon of butter. Okay, so do you know how to measure that? So we'll get no. a pot. Okay, well luckily these little sticks have little measurements on them. OMG. OMG. So I would say two tablespoons of butter need to go in this pot, okay? Okay. It only says one tablespoon. Okay, yes, it does only say one tablespoon. <laughs> one tablespoon. But see one how it has these lines here? Yeah. And it's showing how much. So in between this line and this line is one tablespoon. Yes. So, so if you need two here? tablespoons, correct. You go to the says, second line. But the, wouldn't that one be three tablespoons? Only if you cut on the third part. But why does it say one tablespoon? Each one of these sections is one tablespoon. It would be easier just to say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, eight. because once you cut one section off, that wrapper is usually not there anymore. Can I just cut it while it's closed? Yes, you can. <laughs> I don't know how to cut it. You don't know how to cut through butter. The wrapper. I guess we have some more to do. Okay. What? You're judging me? 
You just said you don't know how to cut through butter. Yes, I do. With I, a butter knife. <laughs> I said I do. I just don't know how to cut the wrapper because it wasn't cutting. Uh, well, you could always try removing the wrapper and just holding That's the boring. measurement to the side. Yes, as opposed to the rest of this process. <laughs> it's not going off. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, one, two tablespoons of butter. Yeah, then we're going to put it on the stove because we would like the butter to melt. Okay. Yes. It's moving. It is moving. It's moving. I used to have a cooking game on my iPad like this <laughs> when I was like two. It I was see, like... I see it's really surfing. Well. <laughs> it was like, what's that one we used to play where they had all the animals? They were the weird, like, an the cat and there was like a daycare one. I don't know, it yeah. was like... It was like, what was it called? Um, not Go-Go. Um... Ooh, it's my meat's gonna burn me. It's not gonna burn you, Aid. No, why are you stepping away? <laughs> it's gonna Bro, pop up. It's not One going time, to. I was cooking something. I think I was cooking bacon with Daddy and it popped up in my cheek. Okay, yeah, that's bacon though. But it's. It's, no, just. Popping. It's fine. <laughs> Stir it until it's melted completely. Okay. Now you can start adding your marshmallows, okay? I'm Probably adding. 10, start with 10. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, get a little closer maybe to the... There's bubbles. It's fine, Aiden. Oh geez. The reason it's popping up like that is because you're throwing <laughs> them in, like... Well, I don't trust that. Okay. You need to get them in quickly, Aiden, because you have to start stirring the marshmallows. <laughs> oh. Okay, because they're going to melt. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, is that 10? No, I don't know. Do you didn't count them? <laughs> no, I just threw them in. Okay, that's... So counting is sort of important. Thank the thing you, about you, cooking you, and... Seven, eight, nine. Okay, you might actually want 20 then. Can you put 10 more in? Ooh, lady. I, I know. Ten. It's outrageous what Nine, I expect 12. of you. 15, 14, 15, 16, wow. 17, 18, 19, 20. <laughs> <laughs> you look like elf. <laughs> okay, stir. You have to constantly <laughs> stir because see how it's turning brown? Yeah. So you got to take it and fold it <laughs> under, Aid, and turn it over Ooh. and stir, 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 okay? Mm. I might want to actually turn the heat down. I had it on six, but maybe turn it down to medium. No, not down. There you go. Okay, take this. You got to keep stirring the whole time. Oh, that's scary. What is scary about it? You. I'm scary? Yeah. I am sort of getting scared watching you do this. Why? I'm so good at this. Mm-hmm, you're a natural. Ow, that hurts my eyes. What? I don't know. Just looking at it, it's getting <laughs> brown. Is that what's no, painful? No, it's just like stinging. This is certainly going to be the color of twigs <laughs> if we don't get stirring. Maybe stir a little more quickly there. Yeah. It's like coming up to my eye. The steam? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Can I have that for a second? Look. Okay. So you got to break it up. Okay, I'm gonna pause this video until you get it the nice melted consistency. I'm crying. It smells like okay. a fire. It smells like a fire. It's not, however, it is quite caramelized. Do you know what that means, Aiden? Yes. What does it mean? Caramel. <laughs> so, sort of. It t it's like when the something's texture. caramelized, the it texture. means the heat has oh. brought the sugars out. 
in it and it does turn brown. Now, normally, if you've ever had Rice Krispie squares, you know it's not normally brown, but that's okay. This will actually work very okay, drink. good for our purposes of making twigs, nests. Let me wear the bubbles. Okay. Okay, so now we need to put our shredded wheat in again. Okay, so you ready, Aid? Yeah, I'm coming. Or you're getting some water. Okay. It's like, even with the 12 year old, it's like the 13 cats here. Mm -hmm. Okay, take your shredded wheat and start breaking it up into here, okay? Before this starts to harden. So then we'll probably go for four, but we'll see. Okay, yeah, let's try to get it in the pot as well. <laughs> Your face <laughs> is like, age, come on, in the pot. You're 12 years old. Okay, wow. <laughs> Ow, it's hot. Well, yeah, honey, it's a hot pot. So I guess we just learned our first safety lesson. I already we? burned myself when I was making eggs. Okay. You need another package to continue. That okay. Is... Don't eat these. Shredded wheat. They're gross. Well, the nice thing about using shredded wheat is one, it looks like twigs. But two, <laughs> it's not that bad for you. So actually, let's see our nutrition things here. I just built that all over. Here. In two biscuits, there's seven grams of fiber, six grams of protein. Pretty good. Okay. Yeah, maybe one more. It's yeah, okay. <laughs> we would like to have some of it go in the pot, <laughs> ideally. Now you're gonna take this and stir it in with the marshmallow, okay? Can you mm -hmm. do that? This is supposed to be kids cooking show, not mom cooking for kids. That's the every other day show. That looks like, oh, it's hard. It is getting hard because it's cooling off. Also, Ooh. you may have cooked it a little too much, hence the brown, but the very caramelly. <laughs> I can't. You can do it. You're a strong, independent female. You can do it, Abe. It's going to break this thing. The spatula? I don't think so. I'm not satisfying. I kind of just want to eat it. Yeah, well... If you ever get it mixed up, can find out what it is then. No, you gotta, yeah, you gotta work it all in. Admittedly, rice Krispies squares are harder to work than you think. There you go. I know. <laughs> oh wow! Don't. I didn't, I didn't touch it. I know. Get stirring, honey, because it's going to harden, and then you're not going to be able to mix it in as easily. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. I, just I believe in you. Myself. It's crusted. <laughs> <laughs> it's crusted. Wow. see it. It's turning this thing. Oh! Oh, jeez. You've got it, like, stuck to the bottom of the pot here. Okay. Wow. Let's try to use a wooden one that's a little harder. Stop eating those. I didn't eat any. I just watched you. No, I um. Oh my gosh. Well, this is gonna be. 
This is so relaxing. Why test the recipe before you film it? That's just crazy. That's a waste of time. Okay. <laughs> we have a nest for an actual bird here. Hey, kitty. Oh my gosh, Izzy. <laughs> All right, yeah. I think that is as good as it's gonna get for you, my friend. Okay. So then we're gonna take this. I don't know if it's easier to do it by hand or with a spoon, but you're gonna do the same thing. So you're gonna take it, you're gonna drop some in, each of these, and then you need to shape it. Okay. Oh, okay, I know. Making treats is really hard. Yeah. I'm just gonna put this whole thing. <laughs> well, we might wanna just break pieces off and drop them in each one. Mm. And then shape them. Yummy. Like, shape them after. Just mix it up first, like, separate it first. You should totally try these. <laughs> They look delicious. I don't know what you're talking about. They look like... Like a 12-year-old tried to make... No, they look like hay. Yeah. That's good. Or like... Isn't it? Hard oatmeal. Hard oatmeal? Hard oatmeal. Or like... Shredded wheat? Mm -mm. They don't look like shredded wheat? Mm -mm. That's ironic. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it! <laughs> Oops. Okay. Wow. Yeah, that's looking good, Aid. Looking good. Thanks. I see a definite future as a pastry chef. Yep, I could be on Nailed It if I wanted to. Well, yeah, I think we've established that. No, I could be on the bestest cooks in the world. Cake or fake, or what's that one? Yeah. Cake or not? Okay, so. Cake start. or not. <laughs> start. <laughs> start shaping. Fake it. or cake. Oh. Is nest one, two. I think like you're not gonna be able to three. fit any eggs in those. Cause they're hard. Well, you could just take it and shape I it can't. like that, I guess. Like press it. I mean, okay. it's moldable, right? Hey, it looks like an eyeball. An eyeball. <laughs> it looks like the Professor Moody. Your eyeball looks like that. You get <laughs> it looks like. A homeless cat's eyeball. A homeless cat's eyeball. <laughs> like, when would you ever see that? All the time. Oh my god, you gotta get off TikTok. Okay, you so gotta just... get off the gram. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get off the world wide web. The tactic. The my, my teacher called TikTok tactic. It is a tactic to ruin the minds of young children. <laughs> You should not send me to school. Oh yeah, that seems like a good idea. Maybe we could just stay at home and homeschool here. It's based on how our cooking show's going. I think it would go really well for you. It's small and petite. Okay, you gotta make a hole for the things, eh? It's like, I did. what kind of nest is that? <laughs> did you see that one? <laughs> some, some next level stuff here, just. <clears throat> Are you, do you think you're going to start like a cake business here? Or, of course. Yeah. Catering. Yep. There is my beautiful. Abstracts by Aiden. Hey, that's not nice. <laughs> well. <laughs> I think only one egg will fit in these because there's no more eggs. There's no more eggs, is there? I have a few more. And you lied to me? I do. You I did. We have more eggs. No, mm, but I could have eaten them. That's why I didn't tell you about them. But oops. But look, there's enough eggs plus more, so we could probably so have two. Need three. <gasps> that kind? Yeah. 
I don't know. The brand name. How exciting. Okay. I should just like see which one they land in. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that, I feel like that's your philosophy in life. Let's just see where it lands. <sighs> I think that's my parenting philosophy now. Just, you know, throw it up, see where it lands. Alright. It'll be fine. Mm -hmm. What could go wrong? Yep. Okay, here we are. Are you gonna test one of these out, Aiden? One of your creations? I'll try the chocolate ones. Okay, fine, if you insist. I insist. My water's gone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is it delicious? Yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. Hi. Oh. <laughs> I made this one with all the eggs. <laughs> I just tried to shove it in. <laughs> eat it however you'd like to eat it, honey. <laughs> the tens of followers are waiting. <laughs> okay. Very excitedly, I'm sure. What do you think of your creation? I love it. <laughs> oh, are you laughing at punk? What do you think about this cooking show? Worth it or no? Thumbs up, thumbs down. <laughs> oh, is that good? Yeah, it's good. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, What's up? What is this? It's um that and melted chocolate. It's good. The link for all the for the recipe is down below. Smash that like and subscribe button. Bye guys. <laughs> Are you okay? You're good. You're good. But you got your mouth on that. It's fine. Can you tell them something? You can tell them something. <laughs> yes, of course. I can burp the alphabet. Wow. I feel so proud as a parent. You know, you hope that your kids are able to achieve all their dreams. But when it happens, it's like... Oh. What's wrong, babe? Nothing. Is that... You ready to say goodbye or you just really want everyone to see you drinking water? Is that... I just Speaking wanted, of thirsty. I just wanted to say that I can burp the alphabet. Okay, well, thank goodness. Oh, do you want to see my face? Yeah, okay. Bye now. Smash that like and subscribe button. Bye, guys. <laughs> no. You're such a loser. <laughs> Says you. You're still filming yourself. <laughs> You're a peanut butter. I've been called worse by better. What did I say? I said I told you, you still makes the marshmallows better. Faster. What? You mix them. In the kids' cooking show? Mm-hmm. I, I mean, you ruined your own spatula. How do you feel about your performance? Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Do you think you're going to be the next YouTube sensation? Oh, yeah. Bigger than Kylie Jenner. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of your own makeup line, you can have your own treat line.